Modern Combat. It's Back to the Future with me, your host, Anuki. We're playing some Modern Combat. Actually, we're looking at some Modern Combat. It's going to be fan dabby dozy because it's on the 1v map Langres, not a Modern Combat map. Uh, which you are all, or at least all, should be familiar with. It's a very, very popular 1v map with like open ground buildings, some stuff in the middle, bushes, a uh, heavy cover hay, some broken barbed wire things, and all stuff like that. Uh, we have a bit of banter here by the two players, uh, which we should introduce on the top side. In the red, being all so heavily Chinerified, is this is Doug. Hello, yes, this is Doug on the phone, sweet. Uh, who is one of my friends? And on the south side is not complexity, it's not complexity, it's Sugar Swish, who's stolen the name of complexity as the Americans in the blue. So we should be able to see who is who, uh, because blue is America, red is China, it seems to fit very well. We'll keep that same sort of colour genre. Uh, in the chat we have, why do I have to research my racks again? Yes, it is true, you have to research your barracks from this HQ building. And uh, the reply is tediousness full, uh, which I do believe is not a word, so it's a great start. There's the racks going down. It can be built anywhere in the territory. Uh, as for our PLA player, though, the People's Liberation Army, we're already charging out with some militia guys and engineers. Uh, so interesting capping order here. It's gone right for this strategic point, cutting across to the munitions. And the militia looks like their direction is heading off to the cutoff point already, so they want to do There's something without fuel. Uh, absolutely no contestation up on the north side for this fuel point from the PLA so far. Uh, but he is getting that fuel point here, so... Uh, we'll have to see how this goes with the militia. Uh, they could very well hop into this building, but now they're running past. They're going straight for the fuel itself rather than go for the cutoff point. Uh, so we have early engagements occurring right smack bang on the two minute marker. Uh, chasing away the engineers before they can actually cap. I don't know if they could have stayed there. Nom 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 from this is dog. Yeah, he wants his fuel. He's not going to let him have that fuel. But these riflemen are going to be coming out soon. And the engineers can reinforce from this point. Uh, uh, yeah, he's going to back away from that one. I think that's the smart thing to do. Otherwise, you're just going to take losses. You'll end up having to retreat your own militiamen. And during that time, the riflemen and engineers can move back in and start taking stuff. But um, at least they delayed that fuel a little bit, but it's not going to matter too much. Um, we'll have to see how that goes out. I don't think that was really any reward going down there. Uh, the riflemen from Sugar hop into the building, which is an excellent place to cover that middle point. Uh, plenty of windows to fire out for all five guys. Oh, that trap. Uh, we had a trap going down? What, what was the trap? I don't know, I don't think we can have any mines out just yet. Uh, certainly not enough munitions for both players. Uh, engineers from This Is Dog hopping into that building, firing on the engineers, but they're taking very little damage. They'll be able to capture that point. And uh, finally moving up here with militia to start capturing. So we have two militia squads out, uh, three engineers and a rifleman. So we got the free engineer rifleman build from the US. We're losing uh, a strategic another asset. militia squad popping out. They're going to be capping that munitions point. Uh, we have minor engagements from engineers down here. Uh, we did capture that munitions point. They're moving away. Pretty good. Oh, and he's coming around for the cap point. Uh, the cutoff point. Capturing that. Capturing the cutoff point. There we go. Uh, which is going to, unfortunately, stop him from getting that 60 munitions and 10 full. That's kind of a big deal. That is a big deal. We're being chased away with two rifleman squads as well. It's going to be kind of problematic for militiamen to handle two rifleman squads. If you're going to handle two rifleman squads, you need at least three militia squads. The engineers coming in to join the battle as well. The riflemen, I think they hopped into that building and they wanted to stop the militiamen getting in that building, but it's not the best building. Only two windows to fire out there. Uh, oh, we have mines going down from the engineers. The militia are running away. Uh, that squad decides to retreat good on them. The guys... Uh, the, the guys, that's such a generic turn. Oh, they're going to hop into it. Oh, it pins them. No kills, though. 50% life. So, so lucky. Uh, maybe the mines don't do enough damage. The militia charge him with the engineers. Uh, getting behind some cover. That's very beneficial. This is a good engagement from the PLA. They're focus firing the engineers down because they're much an easier target. Uh, the riflemen charging in behind light cover as well. Uh, ultimately, though, this engagement... Uh, still going to be lost by the militiamen. Uh, we had some more engagements down here. More engineers hopping into the building. Militiamen 
uh, coming around the side, hoping to fire in here. Rifleman again, hopping into the building. A lot of buildingness from Sugar Switch. He likes to get in these buildings. Uh, meanwhile, though, on the north side, we're just going to be capturing all that territory. Uh, good play from the militia so far, just darting around the map, trying to keep him busy. This is a losing engagement, even though, uh, funnily enough, these guys are actually managing to fire here, however that happens, but, uh, you know, finally we're getting this cut-off point back. No, again, militia coming around to delay, uh, so pretty aggressive play from Doug so far. Doug, you are doing very, very well. Uh, still 10 fuel for everybody so far. Uh, unfortunately, this point has not been captured. Uh, so the American has more fuel income so far. So far. Uh, how it's going to be used, we don't know. We've got four militia squads on the field. One retreating, being sandwiched by two rifleman squads. Uh, it seems, though, Dog doesn't really want to engage. He just wants to stay out of the way of this. Just keep on moving around, capturing... Uh, we have tier 2 up in the house. Yes, do we have field healing as well? Uh, no field healing so far, so he's just fast tech to tier 2, uh, which maybe we'll see some half-track stuff. It's not half-track, it's an infantry fighting vehicle or infantry swap vehicle, but it's very much just the same job as an infantry half-track. We have, again, militiamen just darting round, uh, doing the capping orders, sugar going round, hitting the fuel point. Oh, it's been decapped. That's kind of a big deal at the moment for Dog. He's very limited on fuel. He's come round here. Uh, to capture that, that's good stuff. We have mines going down, incendiary mines. Okay, so we have a tech choice here. We do have a tech choice. That is full mobilization, which allows militia uh, and engineers to put fire mines down. There are 20 munitions in cost. Uh, they explode in a fiery ball of doom. Uh, and they're not as good as regular mines, I'd say that, unless you stand on them for long enough. Again, moving around with militiamen to capture. Uh, double rifleman is going to be a response to this. Uh, more riflemen up here contesting the fuel point as well, but we'll check out this engagement. Uh, Dog moving away. He, he doesn't want to fight a battle. He knows he can't win. Uh, at some point, this cutoff point was taken or uh, neutralized, but we have regulars out on the field now. Regulars are going to bring much assistance to this field. It seems like our riflemen are getting kind of cornered. An excellent ambush here. A, a superior flank from Dog. He's just kind of surrounded this squad at the moment. It's looking very bleak for him. Uh, two rifleman squads are going to certainly help out here, but they're kind of moving in very close and all the militiamen are now convening on these riflemen. We're going to see some focus fire happening here. Uh, four militia squads, two engineers. This is just the entire early game force. Uh, we're losing a rifleman squad. We lost an engineer squad, I believe. No, there's still two engineer squads. In fact, no squads were lost here from China. We've got a whole squad killed. Oh, why isn't this retreating? Sugar, why did you not retreat that? Uh, he's going to lose that squad as well. Two rifleman squads have been killed in this engagement. Uh, absolutely hardly any losses there from China. Uh, we have an engineer squad with a minesweeper out. Uh, clearly Sugar is detesting the fact that there's mines all over these points. He obviously hit some. Uh, decided that you know, a minesweeper will be a good decision. Uh, Odd enough that this hasn't retreated. Dog dog calling it. Is there a mine on the field? We'll have to randomly... No, there doesn't appear to be any mines on the field. It did look very suspicious uh, that that wasn't retreating. That was just moving back. That looks very much like uh, what Dog did earlier on. Uh, retreating his militia... Or moving his militia back across a mine, luring riflemen in. Uh, we now have a striker on the field. Uh, so tier 2 is up from Sugar. Uh, we're going to need to see some tank hunters. That's the only response we can get for that striker at the moment. Uh, in the meantime, though, more mines going down, which shouldn't be too much of a problem with minesweepers. Riflemen hanging inside of the striker. This is like the America's half-track. I'm pretty sure he knows that there's going to be mines there, so isn't going to do anything rash and hasty. Everything just retreats to get back to base quickly. Now we've got an unusual position for a militia squad. Oh, they also retreat as well. They need to get healed up. Uh, we do have the healing up research from the HQ. And now it seems like Dog is going to move into the middle of the field. Uh, he forced a pretty heavy response back here. There's the minesweepers taking away that mine. Uh, or capping the point, and then they'll be taking away the mine. Uh, so, uh, more harassment from engineers trying to get this fuel point. Again, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, if we're going to see any sort of half-track from here, then it's going to take quite a bit of fuel. 30 fuel to get the 
healing upgrade from HQ. It's like another 20 fuel to research a half drag and then another like 20 to Releasing get one. As well as like 45, uh, 45 fuel to actually build the tier 2 building. So a heavy fuel investment uh, just to get that early unit out. Whereas America, they can just straight up outright bring some strikers to the field. We have double grenade launchers out. Uh, we can get two grenade launchers per squad, which is going to be very painful. Regulars uh, taking cover behind heavy hay bales. The striker is going to be able to reinforce all these soldiers on the field, but we are down to two riflemen. Uh, we have a third rifleman just built. The striker is now pushing all this militia and engineers. Uh, they are completely unable to flank because of the push and unable to kill the striker as well. We lose an engineer squad. Unfortunately, though, it wasn't the flame engineer squad, but excellent play there from Sugar with the striker. Uh, if only the squad wasn't so blobbed up, they would have been able to uh, maybe get close to these guys. But uh, if it was just one squad that got by, it would have been successful. Tank Hunters now out in the field with one RPG firing. Missing at that range. That's pretty common. Uh, it's nice that these guys are all healing from that building there. Good positioning uh, of the infantry building. Uh, in the meantime, though, oh, we have some militiamen hanging out inside this building. Uh, it seems like Dog is trying to get a surround, just a complete surround. We've got militiamen here, regulars, more militiamen in the building, the strikers destroying the heavy cover, uh, preventing them from using that. A militia squad could go down here. Yeah, he gets taken out by a grenade. A grenade thrown by a regular squad right here. Kills three guys, pretty good grenade there. 25 munitions down uh, for that. All of the riflemen are retreat behind this heavy cover. The striker is also going to reinforce that as well. Avoiding the RPGs. Heavy, heavy action here. Uh, oh, interestingly enough, we have sandbags going down as well behind this uh, fence. Uh, I guess that kind of blocks any riflemen moving up there. Uh, taking heavy cover. They get light cover, but they shouldn't be able to get heavy cover from that. Double mine sweeper. Okay, so these mines are a pain in the ass, apparently. Uh, Sugar doesn't want to be caught out by them. Uh, oh, we do see that armored personnel carrier. It's basically a half track. Uh, in terms of operation to Vanilla Company of Heroes. Uh, militiamen coming down here to harass that fuel point, but it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to. Uh, we got a blinking red light back there from the striker. Is that a reversing signal? Uh, it does manage to push the militia squad away. Uh, it doesn't really care too much about killing them. Uh, the armoured personnel carrier coming down here. It won't be able to do too much against the striker. These vehicles are completely useless against each other. Uh, but plenty of reinforcing infantry play we will see. Regulars uh, leading the charge on their own. Uh, we lost that militia squad. We are down to three militia squads. Uh, interestingly enough, we have tank hunters and regulars popping out of the armoured personnel carrier, carrier. They were in there all along. Kills the gunner. Uh, double RPG. So one RPG has been upgraded for that squad. Uh, they fire into the racks this time. They're now focusing on that. Uh, taking out a striker would be a really good benefit to the PLA right now as the riflemen won't be able to maintain their field presence if they do that, especially with those two squads that we killed earlier on. Uh, <clears throat> for now, though, um, it just seems like we really need to focus on the capping, try and punish them that way, because this army is still quite ferocious. We have an extra engineer squad out, which I can only presume is going to be a shotgunner squad. Uh, by the way, these guys are friends... Uh, I've been pestering all of my friends to play Modern Combat and get me some interesting replays, and this is the most interesting replay I could see. Uh, the armor personnel carrier now retreats back near the sandbag, so that sandbag is going to offer pretty neat cover. Um, over here we got mines being placed by the engineers whilst the militia cap. Uh, that could be kind of painful, but there's plenty of minesweepers on the field. Just depends whether they'll see them. We'll have to see. The grenade launchers, just look at that damage. Oh, that squad. Oh, is it going to take any more grenades as it retreats? No, it isn't. And now the armored personnel carrier comes with two regular squads and a tank hunter. The tank hunter needs to focus on the striker. The striker... Is my striker broke? Sugar is asking. Uh, taking two shots from the tank hunters. One of them misses. One of them does, like, minimalistic damage. Uh, now the regulars are retreating. They don't want to get any fire from those grenade launchers, but... It doesn't matter. Those grenade launchers can shoot at almost any range. They are going to be really hurting. The RPGs fire again. Not sure if it was against the infantry. That point is being captured. We have... Oh, mines! What the hell? Oh, how the hell did he get away from those mines? That's that's quite something. That's quite impressive. Uh, interestingly enough... Oh, sweet! Medical evacuation vehicle. It's going to be my favorite unit in the game. 
Uh, for 40 munitions, you can use that ability which heals everyone around it for a period of time. It's a really good heal, uh, keeping these squads alive and being able to reinforce. The striker goes down, not it was any use, it did seem broken. Uh, killing that gunner bugged it out, I presume. Uh, the regulars, though, are still taking way too many casualties. It's not a favourable outcome for them. Uh, these riflemen are gaining veterancy, gaining kills from them all of the time. Uh, that's the new rifleman squad out there with three kills. You can see the offensive upgrades are going down. Uh, engineers moving up here to try and get the cutoff point, which would be really effective. Preventing more fuel income. Uh, but for now, though, uh, another thing about this medical evacuation vehicle is it takes 50 munitions to upgrade as well. So it's a lot of fuel just to get that vehicle, and then a lot of munitions just to get that vehicle. I think that is a kind of a balance issue that I'll have to bring up at some point. Uh, the regulars take cover behind heavy cover. Now, I'm not entirely sure on this one, but uh, explosives tend to do a lot of damage in, against units in heavy cover. Grenades, uh, especially. Whether that still applies to grenade launchers, I'm not sure. Uh, we have a mortar out on the field, more capturing going down, mine placements, and then capturing. Uh, that is something I have definitely taught people to do. Uh, it's a very, very uh, effective way, because if you get caught uh, whilst you're capping, then you can run away, and it will it will probably get triggered. They'll probably run past it. Uh, we have another striker out in the field. Uh, the first striker was pretty good, a second striker, as long as it doesn't get hit by a tank hunter and the gunner gets killed, we should be fine. Uh, regulars gaining their vet one for seven kills. Nice, we got javelins out in the field too. Shotgunners, oh, these things are so overpowered. Oh, we're not going to diddle that around that situation. It is just so powerful. China's like, oh, shotgunners! Why can I defeat you? Which is just like the most raped up China uh, sort of accent I can do. But now we're getting a charge from America and... A uh, grenade goes off, killing only one guy. It was an incendiary grenade as well, uh, I believe. That, Yeah, it was an incendiary grenade. Uh, the militia now charging. We've got a super flank coming down here with uh, so much spacing of infantry. The riflemen, uh, limited by their cover options, just one hay pile. They retreat to their racks. They're going to reinforce from there because the striker isn't around to do that. Uh, the same applies to the tank hunters. They get out of there for whatever reason. They could have really been used for, for that situation. Uh, that would have been nice. Uh, the regulars back at base retreating, healing up. Uh, militia, they're kind of not going to be able to hold this. There's no way they can hold this against three riflemen. Uh, trying to capture. He could potentially lose another squad. Don't do it, Doug! Militiamen are weak. They are so terrifyingly weak. Smoke popped here. Uh, maybe that was from the fire support vehicle. I'm not sure if that has the ability to do that, but it uh, doesn't seem like the mortar would do that. It doesn't seem like there's any benefit to the mortar doing that. And the mortar, though, is so out of position. So close to the front lines. Uh, grenades are firing and it kills that one guy. So low on health. And they do get away. They do manage to get away. Uh, the striker here again. A wonderfully magnificent grenade. Uh, what? No, that was poor. That was... Amazingly far. I guess he was trying to predict where he was going. Another militia squad could die! Uh, no, he gets away! The medical evacuation build vehicle as well. Medical evacuation building? <laughs> yeah, like a building on wheels. It's not quite one of those, but uh, I'm sure it's pretty useful at the moment. Uh, being able to reinforce these guys is certainly a benefit, as well as heal them on the field. And it's mobile! How cool is that? Uh, but... The riflemen just managed to push all that back, and we now have two javelin squads on the field. That medical evacuation vehicle is not going to do too well against that this time. Uh, Green Berets are out as well with the anti-material rifle, which I believe can immobilize units, just like the infantry... Uh, not the infantry half-track, the... Uh, Anti-tank gun half-track. I heard some strange noises there. I don't know what it was. Uh, Mortar now positioning itself in a good place behind the bushes. That won't be too harmful to it. Uh, just a huge blob now, uh, because everything had to retreat. Uh, the medical evacuation vehicle as well, joining the fight for this one. The striker, uh, no RPGs. The RPGs should really be on this side, trying to take care of that. And now we're just getting a huge push. It seems like this is just an all-in, just complete all-in for the medical evacuation vehicle, which pops up. It's down healing ability right in front of all these soldiers. And the militiamen are coming right round the back, uh, trying to do some focus fire, I believe. But... Uh, they just retreat. I think that was a really good retreat there. There was no reason to stay in that fight. They can come back in force. That was 
Uh, almost a waste of healing. That healing is not going to be too effective because they're not taking any damage now. Especially not in the area where the fighting is now going to occur. The Javelins have moved back. He's keeping them alive. The Mortar Carrier can do pretty good. You can see right there, four casualties yep, just from one Mortar. Uh, mines have been placed, interestingly enough. Uh, incendiary Mines have just... Just there. We're just going to place them there. Okay, he, c he knows he can't maybe advance anymore. Uh, taking a bit too much damage. Doesn't want to maintain the fight. So he's going to place Mines down and hopefully come back. Uh, pretty secure uh, in the sense that uh, these guys are going to run across the mines, they're going to take a damage and by that time hopefully he can reinforce in the field and do a lot of damage pick up on the fact that the, the mines have been detonated and done some damage and we'll have to see how that goes, again another huge blob uh, it's just blobtacular uh, engineers Retreating, revealing that mine. There goes the mine detonation from the incendiary mine, not doing too much damage, to be honest. Uh, yeah, okay, that was pretty sufficient. They can get past half health. Uh, they, I believe, already damaged. That guy gets gibbed! Completely decimated by that RPG. No arm, uh, one arm for him, no legs. Uh, I'm surprised that the medical evacuation vehicle has managed to stay alive. It seems to have ran over all of the damn. Uh, sandbags and fences though, uh, seven buildings kills for it. I do believe it probably can't vet up from that. Uh, although, I'd love to see an infantry, uh, a, a medical evacuation vehicle rather, with vet three. That would be cool. That's got to be cool. Triggering the second mine there. Uh, this one, you can actually see that it's just done hardly any damage at all. 25% uh, damage. Okay, that's not too bad. Going near 50, 55%. So that's pretty good. Pretty good, considering he wasn't standing in it. Takes some time to take it back. That's a five threat. Uh, more capturing going on down here. The mortar half track is being very dangerous. Plenty of engineers to repair it, though, around. Where are the rest of the engineers, I believe? Uh, we got some here. Uh, so we lost an engineer squad somewhere. The Americans lost an engineer squad. Uh, not too much of a big deal. Engineers, uh, not exactly game changer, unless they've got shotguns, of course. Shotguns are so overpowered. Uh, mortars have moved up as well. They're going to get picked pretty easily apart by those grenade launchers. Double vet for them. 20 kills so far. Uh, let's check out these militiamen kills. Four kills, not too good. 11 kills for the regulars. Three kills for the militia. Uh, another militia squad with three kills. So you can see there's a major difference between riflemen and militia. Uh, getting vet one for the regulars. We've really got to get that veterancy bonus. There's another fantastic grenade. Grenade! Why you no know hit target? Or rather, why doesn't Sugar run into the grenades? Uh, again, we're seeing the same old tactic, which is now just going to get destroyed by the javelin. Um, this healing is not going to be in effect for too long. Grenade being returned, decimating that entire squad. Holy cow, we're seeing a lot of stuff die right now. And not many of it is from the American. A full retreat there from PLA, losing their medical evacuation vehicle. Um, I mean, there was a lot of numbers there from PLA. Uh, and if you just look at the units on the field, five-man squad, four-man squad, three-man squad. So that's two casualties there. Absolutely no casualties here. Uh, whereas for PLA, that was just a really bad engagement. Look at the... A lot of stuff there. We got two guys missing there. I think we had four guys missing there. Four guys missing there. Uh, some of them probably reinforced just now. And the medical evacuation vehicle, which... Is a lot of resources lost. If you consider the time invested in that as well. And it is 23 minutes into the game. Uh, that thing, I do... I mean, I want to say it paid off. It looked absolutely fantastic, but it just... It, it, I'm not sure if it made an impact on the field. I mean, we had the second time it was used. The first time was here behind that building. It wasn't too good. A lot of guys were dying. A lot of these guys were killing. Second time, it was a full-on brutal assault here, which looked amazing, sure enough. But Sugar just retreated. He said, I'm not going to be a part of that battle. There's no reason to be a part of that battle. He's also got two snipers out now. Uh, already two kills with one of them, taking a bit of damage. Uh, the third time, it was just so far forward that Javelins had no problem picking it apart. And with no healing for the rifle, uh, for the militia and the regulars, they were getting pretty torn apart. Just pretty easily ripped apart. Uh, the Green Berets are moving forward. Five kills to them. The Mortars again. Good Micro Mortar. 
uh, trying to get away from any danger, but uh, assuming... Oh, we did lose that under uh, mortar vehicle. That was pretty good for them, but I don't think it was worth the trade. Uh, he can pretty much rebuild that. And we have two snipers on the field, so... There's still a lot of stuff for America uh, that the PLA needs to deal with. And this is, again, this huge block. Vet free for this rifleman squad now. 31 kills. Such a huge difference between, like, militia and riflemen in terms of kills. And even regulars. I mean, the regular squads are only walking around with less than uh, 10 kills so far. Uh, it seems, though... Oh, crap. We... Seeing another medical... Oh, this is not a good choice. If it didn't work the first time, it's probably not going to work the second time, but... I don't know. It's all very dependent on how you use it. Uh, the Green Berets took a grenade. It wasn't too effective against the Militia, which is very, very lucky for Dog. Uh, he's moving up here, though. He looks like he's gone back to capping. He's moving around here. Uh, victory points aren't too much of a concern. Uh, we had a fire grenade go down there. We've got some more buggies-looking stuff in the middle of the map. This always happens to me. My silly graphics card... Uh, which I don't believe it is the graphics card. No, my graphics card's amazing. Go away. Oh, my graphics card. I don't want it to die. Huge charge from Sugar. Oh, oh, my God. Look at the shotguns. Why isn't he retreating? Dog, retreat your regulars. They're taking damage from grenades. They could die. Ah, that's not good, retreat. Oh, he dies. We really needed that one. We're kind of down to one regular squad now. We could certainly use some more regular squads. Uh, by the way... Uh, I've not said anything about the Doctrine choice uh, from Sugar at the moment. He has got a Tomahawk missile, which is damn impressive for 26 minutes in the game. Just listen to that He's close area support, close area battle, that's the one. Um, that's pretty infantry-like. It's going to be painful. He moves his mortar carrier up as well. He's going to pick apart these mortars. Uh, Dog saying he's not out of this yet. He's got a regular squad back here. I'm not sure what they want to do. Vet too. They could be doing summer. Uh, it seems like the snipers are just out of sight, though. Just out of sight. Not able to see. The Green Berets moving up again. Uh, to get the cutoff point, maybe? No, they want to join the battle. The tank hunters firing at the mortar carrier, but again, lots of missing happening there. Uh, vet 1 for the tank hunter. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. And Vet 1 for the other one as well. Militia getting Vet 1 and 5 kills. Go them, the medical evacuation vehicle moving very far forward again. Uh, we've got to look out for those javelins. They're all the way back here. Sugar needs to micro them forward. The mortars are being focused by the riflemen, and now we have suppression of fact, which means we have an MG right here. An MG couldn't be more perfect for this scenario. A lot of blobbing up. This could be very heavily punishable. Now the militiamen can all move forward. And, oh crap, we've got a Tomahawk missile coming somewhere. Is it going to come here? Oh, the mortar. The mortar is just so deadly to that blob. Uh, we've got a mortar that can be picked up here. There's the Tomahawk right on some retreating units. Uh, we lose a mortar. We lose... Uh, I don't know what that was. We lost someone that was retreating. The medical evacuation vehicle gets away alive. I don't know why it pops that. There's only tank hunters around here. Uh, MG from Sugar as well. That's, that's painful. And Dog GG's. So there we have it. That was a really cool infantry fight. And on that bombshell, Sugar Swish, you have won. Congratulations to you. This is dog, 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 my man, you have won. But I'm sure you can enjoy the highlights of your miserable defeat. This was modern combat. Do, 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 do,